All right, everybody, welcome back to another part in our Tunic Let's Play here live on twitch.tv forward slash not skip me. Hope you are all well. And um, yeah, we're going to pick things up again today from our uh, the previous episode where we did a thing eventually after lots of walking around. And we have now entered this kind of... Um, almost like shadow realm for lack of a better term whereby we've lost some of our I wouldn't say we've lost any of our equipment but we don't appear to be able to use magic here which is I was saying I can't use magic I'm not sure no I can use magic um but yeah no our, our health bars our stamina bar our magic bar has all shrunk down and, uh, yeah, some things are now um, blocked off from us um, being able to access them. Uh, we didn't really do too much exploration in this area on Saturday night when we was last streaming. We kind of got to this point and was like, okay, uh, yeah, we'll probably call it there. Um, so, yeah, let's go and see what we can see, I guess. It's interesting that, like, we now have green writing on there as well. I'm not sure if that said town before. I wonder what that noise was, but it's the wind chime, isn't it? It's the wind chime on that house. Of course it is. Okay, so... Is there a way... That looks suspicious. All right, so this, I, I'll be honest, LB kind of, LB um, left me, you left me a comment, which were flowers. So I'm suspicious of the flowers, but looking at this like area here, that looks like quite a suspicious panel. I'll be honest. That quite looks suspicious, almost like I should be able to, like, go through there. Did we have that page before? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did. There's my overworld page. Um, okay, there's nothing really there at the moment. But yeah, that was. Albie has made me very suspicious about these flowers. It's all your fault, Albie. Really. <laughs> Alright, so is there a way we can actually get over here? Or even like speak to these people. Did we speak to any of these? We possibly did. How come, right? Okay, this is. Yeah, this is me probably overthinking stuff, but how come when we're on the outside, there's like a clear light on the inside, but when we go in, it's like pitch black? Like I say, a massive knockover thing, I'm sure, but. Swamp. Where is it, the swamp yet, have we? Cathedral Ghost. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. So. 
It's almost like in this world, there are... I guess I guess we're gonna call it like the ghost world. I guess I guess it's it's almost like a world full of ghosts. Cathedral moonlight. Big fight. It's almost like we're a ghost. And some of the platforms, it seems, we can still walk across. They kind of like appear, even though they're broken in the uh, the regular overworld. Okay, that was something that wasn't activated before. Now the gates open for us. Alright, we got a flower card. We have a definition for what that one is. Um perfume. Interesting. What do we want perfume for? Oh, okay. Okay, so only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner grounds. Okay, that makes sense. Not liking the look of that, though. I'm not liking the idea of like having to do this with less health. It's very fitting for like a, a ghost kind of graveyard environment, definitely. Oh, he's gonna. Well. Hello. We have somebody, finally. Wow. What was it this time then? Tell me. Uh, one of the everything was fine. You know, OBS has nothing to do with this, but it does, doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you're not very, uh, but, you're not very clear though. That's the only thing I would say. Okay, yeah, apparently it's coming from my webcam, which is buried under a pile of papers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't find my uh, uh, blue. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not oh, showing what, yeah, up. Yeti. Yeah, my Yeti blue. Where the hell? What the hell? This is absolutely infuriating. Secrets. Let's see. Do something. I'm going to disable this microphone so you will not hear me anymore. Okay. Because it's my webcam.
Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy are uh, angry. Sells a coin. Eesh. There we go. That doesn't bode well for us because we have no health left, <laughs> no potions. Big money though. I might have missed that chest. I need to be back on the top to get that one. Yeah, near a checkpoint, but obviously the only problem about the checkpoint is that it respawns all the enemies, so... It's, um... Kind of swings and roundabouts a little bit. So, I think we are maybe good there for now. Let's just head back a little bit and see if there is a way to get that chest. Well, that's a nice hidden secret. More of our candy cane bombs, as we call them. So there must be another secret passage coming out there somewhere. So not entire. I'm not entirely sure how many of these we've thrown in the well. Six. So nothing for a while on these ones. Um where is the guide for the well? Six, seven, okay, so we don't get anything, anything else now until we get uh, ten. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a few of those still to go. I think I'm going to use this for now. What you got? Oh, he's got another coin. We can't afford. And it's got some health berries, but we're all right at the minute. Keep saving our pennies for the time being. Can you hear me now? Yes, and you are nice and clear. Oh my god! I don't know if we're talking. I don't know if we're talking on Discord or on Steam, though. I I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have Steam running. We're talking on Discord. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, no need to worry with the details. Uh, typical BS. Uh, it would not 
It would not show my mic. Uh, it was fine in OBS. It showed up uh, in my sound settings in Windows, but I had to go to a different sound setting in Windows, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, uh, and then I had to restart, uh, unplug it, replug it. For whatever reason. I mean, it works for everything else. It just wouldn't work for this, but yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> How you doing, LB? I've, I've missed you on the last uh, couple streams. How you been doing, man? Uh, yeah, not as clear, probably because Windows and whatever else, uh, Russian government, Chinese government has <laughs> hacked my mic. Yeah. Uh, uh, will not allow me to just keep my computer on and have everything the same and then just click on talk and at work they, they mess with me all the time yeah all my noise gates all my filtering everything is going out the window I had a, a universal uh, that covered like anything on Wonders, uh, Universal uh, Noise Gate, Universal, you know, where it covered anything I was doing on Wonders, so I didn't have to like set it for you know, every single thing. Yeah, I set it for everything, and it and it and it worked great for about a minute there, or that one time, and then when I came back the next day, it doesn't work anymore. Now I can tell you all about that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You never have technical issues, Deathwish, ever. Yeah, never. Never. I fake them. I do it for the entertainment value. Just just that. Just just for everybody's entertainment. Make myself look as dumb as possible to keep my charade up. And, uh, notice that says charade. Oh, man. That's, uh, something. Right, glad you're doing well, LB. Yeah, I know the earlier streams, but like the last couple, I think I was out of town last time. Yeah, I saw you on, I was on my phone, but I, you know, I would probably be better off just using my phone and <laughs> talking to you, talking to you over my phone than using this uh, you get a two hundred dollar or whatever it was Yeti mic, and and all this fancy stuff and well, three monitors and just use my fan. It's better than my computer. <laughs> that sounds about right, though. To be fair. <laughs> All right, so these these guys, these ghost things, are quite interesting. They're all right as long as you can kind of get them to show up. There's one over there. So what have I missed? What did I miss last uh, Saturday? Or this past um, Saturday? We fumbled around a lot. Okay. Um, we we beat that boss, that other boss, first time. The um, which one? one in, the one in the forest, the like the spider-looking one. Yeah. Okay. With the shields the on the legs and, and the ball yeah. things. That yeah. We we beat him. Um, so now we've learned that yes, if you uh, obviously from that one and the one before, if you're having a hard time beating them, you got more stuff to do. Yeah. Um, so although, don't, don't bother with replaying it more than once. You just go about and do other things until you gain enough stuff. Then you go in and beat them. Well, yes and no, because LB actually told me afterwards that the um, that one in the forest is typically the first one that most people do. <laughs> so, oh, um, okay. yeah, we kind of... <laughs> um, did things a little bit backwards, but you know. Well, I think there's... I probably would have done the same thing you did. To be fair, 
There's there's no surprise there doing things backwards, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna do it different, one of us is gonna do it different. Then um, the, uh, and then yeah, we average so, topless. So we got all of the um we got all of the colours. We put them in at the shrine. And then we fumbled around for about an hour and a half, like, okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? And then right at the end of the stream, we I thought we was just about to take on like a, an ultra mega boss who absolutely wrecked us. Okay. And then we ended up as a ghost. And uh, yeah, I was wondering right why you had that kind of ghost outline. So you're a walking dead. All right. Uh, LB, have you played this before? I think LB oh. has, has seen, I don't know if he's played it, but seen people play it and knows quite a lot about the game. Okay, that's surprising. I figured he either, he's either played it and beat it or uh, knew about it some way or another. It's a bit like the, um, it's a bit like the Outer okay. Wild, Wilds kind of situation. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And LB obviously was uh, kind enough to donate the game as well, so... Yeah, yeah I remember saying that. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Very kind of you. Yeah, I only donate to Knock if I can somehow make some money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't donate to me, you just donate your Steam library every now and again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, my, my library is at your beck and call. Yeah. <laughs> All X amount of games that you have. That's quite yeah, a I, can, I can sell my account for quite a bit, actually. You know, you, you can look up how much your account's worth. You just, uh, when you, you just have to put in your uh, username or ID or any of that stuff. And now they can't steal your 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 uh, account or anything. Oh no! It just uses the API. But uh, uh, yeah, you just got your ass handed to you. I did. You turn from a ghost to a, a, a lighter ghost. But yeah, my my account's worth quite a bit. Being that the age that it is, I think it's almost, uh, I think it's getting close to 19 years. And the amount of games I have, the amount of hours that I have on overall and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I can say it's not worth nearly as much as I put into it, <laughs> which you can say about <laughs> a lot of people, but there's a, a new fishing attack that I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it on, um, it's target ways. Well, I think it's targeting mainly like the League of Legends players and CSGO players, but yeah, yeah they uh, seem like the ones that had uh, uh, like the, the big accounts that are in like the thousand, they're in the Steam level of like in the thousands and they have tens of thousands of games or, or they have, yeah, I think like what you're talking about specific games that they're it's like uh, i think it was professional players they were going yeah for. yeah that's why i read yeah it's like wow that would suck uh, to say the least <laughs> i still I mean, think it's I've a had, bit of a I, I think it's a bit from what i saw of it though it was a bit of a I don't know. It's still a bit of an easy scam to fall for because I know what they're trying to do with the, the browser manipulation is quite quite clever for. I know yeah, it's really it so is. clever. But it's still it still pass. It still looks like a separate window, even though it's not. So you right. kind of know if you looked in your taskbar, I guess, that it's because even like the smallest pop up window browse pop up pop up browser window has a taskbar icon so i just think it's it's one of those things where just people need to be a little bit more vigilant and yeah 
It's it's like any time I uh, go to open a link, uh, whether it's on Steam or anywhere else, you know, I, I hover over it. And, yeah, yeah. And then the actual URL is exposed. Uh, there's also apps out there for that, <laughs> just to make it even easier to spot. But yeah, uh, but if you're you're kind of not paying attention, you're tired. No matter how well versed you are in scams, it can happen if you if it only takes that one time of not really paying much attention. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. You know, you're just you're just extra tired and go okay, yeah. Well, this is it's on it's on the Steam one day, so it's good. And then you're screwed. Okay. Slowly, slowly, catch you, monkey. We're all already out of um, let's ignore them birds for a minute. Oh, we might not be able to ignore them birds for much longer. Yeah, it's, but, but see, I don't understand that. How, um, which I didn't read, and maybe uh, you or LB can tell me. Let's say I. I I got one of those, and it popped a window up inside of the the window. You know, the Steam browser popped up inside of that, and it looks the same. And uh, even if I like went to sign in, how would they how would they be able to? Even if they got my username and password, because I've had that happen a lot of times. But they weren't able to fill my account because QFA. Yeah, but the it, it takes you as far as I'm aware. It takes you to the proper Steam page within like a, an in-page browser. So you put in your credentials, then it asks you for your two FA code, which you put in. Um, as soon as you put that in, you're screwed, basically. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. I was gonna say you would have to your two-factor authentication code too. But even, well, yeah. But I mean, I mean, I guess at this point, okay, I don't know. I'm stupid on these things. Uh, I do know that 2FA saved my account because I know my, I know my email, my email address has been out there for, 20 plus years uh, it's been it's been uh, people who tried to hack my gmail account take that over you name it can't 2fa stops it every time and yeah uh, and I do and I do uh, change my passwords because uh, I do use a password manager because one uh, I hate typing in passwords uh, to you. I want more secure passwords and is I'm not going to remember. I don't want to remember them. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I mean, I, I I kind of have a different password for each, but I don't use password manager. Um, we have we have like we use a thing called IT glue at, at work and that's got like a personal kind of section to it. So I was thinking about using that, but then on the flip side of that, I was thinking, well, actually, if I ever leave work and lose access to it, it's a bit of a waste of time because it's tied to my work email and my work account and everything. So yeah. I've never really like looked into or got um, an alternative. Well, I, I, I used LastPass for the longest time and then they sold out month of commercial way and you got to pay. Hmm. And so then I went to, I found uh, Bitwarden. Uh, okay. I, I don't think Bitwarden is, uh, is user friendly. I mean, it's still, I'd say all Mace is good. It just doesn't automatically feel, thing, feel things like LastPass does for you, like as easily. Okay. Uh, it's 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 not difficult or anything by any means. It's 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 a small 
small hurdle, if, if you want to call it that, to to use it. Like, but I can switch from uh, a mobile to PC to whatever device and use it across all devices, and it keeps it updated. Whereas LastPass, uh, it, it is still, they still have a free version, but you can only use it on PC or only on mobile devices. If you want it on both, you have to pay. Right. Which, you know, that's fine. I mean, they, they are a good uh, password manager. Uh, really, and, not, and you only have to remember, like, like both of them, you only have to remember the, the master password. Uh, and you get and you get uh, multiple keys on both uh, a set of keys that you print out or save them out so that you don't get. Okay, I, I think I'm coming out with a cold. Hold on one second. Let me mute my mic. Okay, why why are we we're fighting like little versions of ourselves here? is weird. Okay. Um, another thing, I was looking at this map, and I don't fully understand, like, I don't fully understand the map. I guess I'm looking at this from almost like a cross-section as opposed to kind of like a top-down view like this, I think. interesting so I'm guessing that pit at the back there goes down to 12 so I wonder where we can go here where does 4 take or guess if we go through this door for 4 let's see where we end up All right, we're still in the same place. On the map, at least. It's interesting. Take everything nice and slowly. This one's a bit quicker. I hate being hit by that like dark energy stuff because it just like completely destroys your health bar. Okay, so I'm guessing now I'll be on the upper level, or well, I'm s semi on the upper level. Okay. This brings me into this other area here. Hey, Mika! Yo, Mika, what's going on? How you doing, dude? It's quite interesting, like, when we walk into these rooms, something I notice, like, these... I guess we call them doppelgangers are kind of almost like fascinated with the light it's weird like moths to a flame yeah, yeah, it, by desire. i don't know if it is anything but it's just like every time i walk into a room it's like they're staring at the light well would you rather do that or 
stare at the dark corner. Ah. Okay, I'm waiting for the uh, double hook where you can bring two enemies to you at once and it does like 50% damage on that action. And then you can like swing one around into the other. Yeah, I'm asking for too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start using bombs a bit more, I think. Ah, you're back in uni. Okay. Yeah, if he uh, do well, I'm sure he will. Always, always have. Make or smash it. Oh, yeah. No question. Make it just needs to learn proper English. Jeez. And, uh, I need to start charging for these English lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll take that back. Maybe, maybe I should pay him to listen to me. Because <laughs> I'm probably wrong about everything. <laughs> Everybody else is just like face bombing and going, oh, geez. I don't have the energy to deal with this. Do I have anything for stealth? Question L. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you if you had anything for stealth. But of course, I'll be beast me to it every time. Every time. Every time. It's terrible. He's just a madman genius. But he's but he's a humble genius. <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that question. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that was a. <laughs> the only thing I, I, the only I, thing I can I'm think of. I took that personally. <laughs> the only thing I can think. Um, right, so there's, there's two things. There's like this muffling bell. <coughs> Although a bell would kind of. And to me, a, a bell would suggest that the opposite of stealth, the bell would be quite loud and noisy. Yeah, to um, use as a distraction. But then there's this here. Which is like, put your manual underwater for 60 seconds and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I got my my nephew Blues. Uh, he lives here, you know. Came over, came back over from Germany. Yeah. Yeah. He he got a. He's always been like a well. As he got older, he got one of Xboxes and stuff. He he, he knows all about the Xboxes. And anyway, he uh, me back uh, about a year ago. After 13 years, um, uh, he, uh, like a couple months or so ago, he, he moved in with me and, uh, and he got a Xbox X series, I think, or S, I don't know, one, one of those, X, you know, Xbox one, whatever. Yep. But of course he's used to it. He's used to the controllers. He's even a. You know, he did keyboard and mouse for a long time. Uh, he, he played so much Xbox and stuff. I mean, uh, and other consoles since he was young, you know. Since he came over here when he was about five or six. That, he, you know, he was still quite uh, good with them, like, you know, like you are. And but they can play first-person shooters with him. Uh, whereas, 
you know, we played uh, uh, Halo, uh, Halo 4 go up and I was, Whoa. I was like, I was lucky to get a kill once in a while. It was essentially, uh, just him doing everything and me walking around Push like some, in, like some NPC. Sounds about my, it's my sort of experience in a lot of, um, uh, shooter games to be fair. <sighs> Yeah, I just don't see how, I mean, and I, I tried playing them back, I can't, you know, since early 2000s when they had them. And I'm like, I just can't, you know, I just can't, I, I can't get used to this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, the, whole key, the whole keyboard and mouse thing changed everything. And, uh, well, I got a, because I was playing with them, we got another controller. Because, you know, they, like, I'm like, when we grew up, they gave you two controllers. And then they stopped and give you one, and you got to buy the other or more. But anyway, that's. <laughs> uh, Here's one controller. Buy another one for 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then you yeah, get the, yeah. then you yeah. can get the Chinese ones that are like twenty dollars. It's like nobody in this day and age invites people around to the house to play multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. What a loser! <laughs> you don't need real friends to play this. <laughs> That's what the internet is for. Uh, we're actually a little bit weaker than normal, to be fair, Mika. We're um, we're in ghost form at the moment, and it's actually reduced my health bar quite significantly to what it was before. So uh, that's kind of like when you started. Oh dear God! What have we stumbled into here? <laughs> Aaron, you um, must you must be some cool place because that'll be is parked up there. I'm just gonna keep on walking. I, I think that's that's the best answer, right? I, I bet you that's the name of a song. Uh oh. Uh you can do this first try. This uh -oh. is the easy one. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's all right. What's the bet though? I walk back through here and I'm going to get absolutely bum rushed by about a thousand enemies. Nah. Only about eight, eight, ninety-six. I think. Where, 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 did, he, where did he go? <laughs> exactly, LB. Where did he go? <laughs> Just keep walking. Like nothing's happening. Yeah, I am not here. Yeah, da 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 da. It seemed like something was supposed to happen outside. All right. Um, I'm going to say it now. How many of these schools are going to come to life and absolutely try and annihilate me here? Answers on a postcard. Uh, can't give you an answer then. That's too expensive for American blood. Slowly, slowly. It's fine. an elevator and two of those things fell down as you went down and landed directly on your head and killed you all right now there was <clears throat> don't know 
how we would get to it. Maybe in here. There were some sneaky blue eyes. Which I know is a shop. Well, we'll buy the coin now. Um, let's probably do as for now, I think. I feel like I still need to learn more about that. Um, still need to learn more about it, though, LB, to be fair. Right, so, we're on our way down to this bomb bit here. And apparently, legend says wearing this will allow you to do something extraordinary. Okay. They almost look like. I'm just stalling here, by the way, as well. Um. They're, they almost look like the offerings that we bring to um, the almost like save spots, for lack of a better term. But we'll see. I'm yeah. going to go down here because I'm pretty sure the ladder's broken halfway and we're just going to fall down. Yeah, the word extraordinary. Extraordinary. The... So... Why does it mean when it does when you're ordinary, but even more ordinary? It's be, isn't being more ordinary basically saying like you're almost not as normal or as average as everybody else and you're a little bit less because you're extra normal? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> All right. Two secs. I'm just going to run an ad break because we're almost at an hour. So then uh, we'll run this ad break and then we will. Um, Whoa, get what's straight this? Back in. All right, let's stop chickening out. Let's press A. And we can press A on all of these things. Is this like going to be like a. Oh, no. I think it's Control F4. So like this is a like a gauntlet type thing where we gotta take on Oh. Uh <coughs> just happened. Find of Mika. Yeah, as I rightly predicted, this is going to be like a gauntlet. Oh dear. And I'm starting to think I should have left the hearts. <laughs> I don't see the problem here. How did okay. you die? Okay. And I looked like it was easy as like a tic-tac-toe game. Yeah, if only. Only we was playing tic tac toe. All right, should we? I think I might. I might take these guys first because. Because why not? Yeah, well, these guys are flying dudes, so I think we might be a little bit better against these guys first. Well. Uh. The way to find out. Wow. Talk about just obliterated. <laughs> 